I'm Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids. Today's craft, you'll need a piece of white paper. You're going to need um, um, a thin black pen, or you can do a fine um, Sharpie pen, um, a pencil, scissors, and a couple of things we're going to use um, is Mod Podge and some um, diamond glaze adhesive um, glue and then um, also um, we're going to use a small metal ring and um, we're going to use a pinned it and we have the bottom and then the glass to seal it and then um, we're going to use washable paint pad or um, you can also use paint and I'll explain to you in the um, while, while we're making the craft. Okay, so you're gonna take your white paper and um, we're gonna dab our fingertip in the um, ink pad here. And we're gonna make dots here. And then you can also do um, different colors. So if you don't have an ink pad at home, um, I would just get regular paint and then just um, make sure your fingertips is dry. Um, you can add it there and then you can just place it on there. See, almost like the ink pad. And then you can do a couple of um, different um, dots also, that way you know which one you want to use. You can grab the glass clear side and just place it over the um, design that you're going to make so that matches um, um, the glass here. So this is where you can use a pencil and you can design. And I want to make a turtle. So I'm going to make a circle and then inside I'm going to work on the shell Once you're done, you're going to get your Mod Podge and you're going to get your um, paintbrush and we're going to get your glass pendant and you're going to dab some Mod Podge on here. Make sure you get a good coat on the glass. And then we're going to place it on top of your your little um, design that you did. So it kind of looks glossy when you place it, but don't worry because we're gonna that's going to um, dry up. So you're gonna let it sit and make sure it's completely dry before you go on to the next step. So make sure um, before you get to cutting your little piece of paper, make sure it's dry. So you're going to get your other pendant and this is where we're going to use the diamond glaze adhesive and we're going to go ahead and Place some inside the pendant. Make sure you get it 
all in there on the side and then take your little turtle and I'm place it upwards and I'm going to place it right in there and press it down so if there's any liquid it will come out on the side so we don't really need that much um, diamond glaze okay so once you're done you're going to go ahead and let it sit and dry And then you can clean the glass here because you're going to be working with Mod Podge and the uh, adhesive glaze that your glass is going to get dirty. So you just go ahead and basically just clean it off. Clean it off as much as you can. And you can pretty much um, take any of your dots and make your favorite animal if you want to do a flower a funny face or you know a different animal you can create your own design and that completes our fingerprint art craft once you complete your craft go ahead and take a picture and we'd like to see what kind of pendant you came out with you can also stop by the main library and pick up a kit you can also um, go to our website and request for a kit there and um, one of the staff will give you a call to pick it up. Also, um, just a reminder um, for the end of the month, summer reading, extreme block party. We're going to be having it Saturday on July 29th at the Fox Run Golf Course. It's going to be between 12 and 4 p.m. So come bring the whole family have some snacks and play some games. I'm Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today on Crafty Kids. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.